Hey guys, welcome to the series on Microsoft Defender for Endpoints. The playlist with all the videos on MDE and Microsoft Defender XDR is in the description box. In this chapter, we will see what actions you can take on a file if you found that it is malicious or potentially malicious. So in order to respond to an attack, you can stop that file from running. You can quarantine a file. You can add it to the custom indicators. You can download the file, analyze it, and also take some other actions. First, let's go to the file. So I want to search for this file called vlc.exe. So vlc.exe is an executable file for the VLC media player. I use this media player to play various audio and video files. You can go to the Defender portal that is security.microsoft.com and at the top where you have the search button, you can search for vlc.exe if you know the file name. And it's going to take some time loading. It's going to give you all the options. It tells you there are files like this, URLs and so many other options as well. So if I click on it, I'm going to go to this files one. It says open file page. Sometimes you don't find it like this. If you don't find it in the search bar, you search for file. Okay, when you search for files, let me minimize this. This search page opens up where you can, you know, search for devices, users, groups, files, vulnerabilities, software recommendations. I'm going to go to the files and here as well, you can see all the files as well as search for them. Here, if I search for VLC, I'm going to get all the files that have VLC in them. I can also search for exe executable files and I'm going to get all the executable files only. So let me go back to my vlc.exe search. So this is the file. I'm going to click on that file and this is the file page. On the file page, you will see the overview. It says, what is the hash value file size? Is it a PE? PE is short for portable executable file. And who is the issuer? Who signed this file? And there is metadata as well. Company name or uh, original name, product, description. See from here, if you didn't know VLC was a uh, media player, you can get it from here. So it gives you some information. And it says incidents and alerts. You have no incidents or alerts for this. It also says in the last 30 days, this file was seen on how many devices? And if you scroll down, it also says when was it first or last found on the on these devices. Again, there is incidents and alerts. We don't have anything for this file. Observed an organization, the same thing that we saw in the overview, how many uh, devices it is there. And then file names, file name is vlc.exe. It also gives you file content where I have details only for registry reads. You can see the registry key. And now if I want to take any actions, let's see what should be done or what can be done using MDE. The first thing on the screen that we see is manage indicator. This will allow us to block or allow a file. Like, let me click on this. It says add indicator if I click on that. So if you know that a file is malicious, you can just go ahead and block it. So it takes the file hash. You don't have to provide anything. And title, I can say VLC media player. And then I'm going to just copy and paste that in the description box and expires never. That means this file will always be blocked or you can choose custom. Say I want to block it till the next two weeks and see what happens. And then it also shows you statistics. That means check statistics to understand the impact of adding this custom indicator. So it will give you data for the past 30 days on devices with Windows 10 or newer. Uh, so I'm going to click next. And then it gives me the option to allow, audit, warn, block execution, block and remediate. Allow option means that the IOC is allowed to run on your devices. Then there was this option called audit. Audit means it will trigger an alert when the IOC runs, but no action is taken on it. It is not blocked when it is in the audit mode. Only an alert is triggered. The next option is warn. So the users who are running this IOC will get a pop-up message saying that it is a risky app or risky file. But this prompt will not block them from allowing the application to run. The users can still bypass the warning and continue to use the application if they want to. You can add all custom messages and links to this prompt, but it won't block them. It 
and gives an option to the users if they want to do it, if they don't want to do it, telling them that it is risky. The next option is block. That means the execution won't happen. The IOC, that is the file that we add in this a custom indicator will not be able to run. The last option is block and remediate. That means first the IOC won't be allowed to run and also a remediation action will be applied to that IOC. I think before the audit mode was called as alert only mode and block and remediate was called alert and block. So these are the actions that you can take. Let me say block execution for now and then say next. Then it says, do you want to generate an alert when you block this execution? So if I go back, if I say allow and then click next, it is directly going to the page where I have to select the scope all devices in the organization. And then if I go back and say audit next, you see this, it is giving me an alerts details page where the generate alert button is grayed out. That means it is mandatory. You will have to select the alert severity. I'm going to say low and the alert category, say malware and recommended actions. This is for the admins or security analysts that are looking at the alert. They will look at the recommended actions as well. If I go back, then there is one. If I click next, it says no actions for file indicator to be set. Then it tells me generate alert. Here it is giving me an option to, if at all I want to generate the alert, I can choose this. Okay. And then I'm going to go back. I just want to show you all the options that are available for these. Then there is block execution. Again, it's my choice if I want to generate an alert or no. Then there is block and uh, remediate. Even here, I have an option only for the audit mode. I don't have this option. It will generate an alert. So for now, I'm going to go with block execution. Next, a severity low category as malware, recommended actions. For now, I'll write it as test and then I can go next and organizational scope. All devices in my organization are included. And then I'm going to say next, it is going to give me a summary of what we did right now. And then if I hit submit, indicator will be added. But for now, I'm not doing it. So I'm going to cancel that. So that's how you add custom indicators for files. You can also do this by going to the main menu, scroll down to settings and then to endpoints. And then here, if you scroll down under rules, you have indicators and here you have an option to add file hashes. If you click on these three dots and add item, you're going to go to the same page. So here again, you, you will have to add the file hash. It will be on the file main page. So if you see vlc.exe, this hash value, you can add it here and then do the same thing like I showed before. Let me cancel this. Go back to the file page, open file page minimize the main menu so let's go back and click on these three dots there is download file option you can download it on your machine so if i click on download file i'm getting this error saying this action applies only to files seen in the last 30 days in your organization but this is not so i'm going to show another example uh, let me say I'll search for outlook.exe. So in the files, I'm going to go to this. So there is a download option. I'm going to click on download option. It tells me the file will be zipped as well as password protected and saved to your downloads folder. It says outlook.exe is ready for download. Reason for downloading, I'll say analysis and then create password. I'm going to give a dummy password for now and then generate download link. And then I'm going to click on download. So it started to download. It's downloaded the zip file. If I open this, I move this to a different folder. Now I'll try to unzip this. Right click, extract all. Yeah, this is the location I want. I'm going to say extract. So it is asking me for the password that I created. So now it will unzip. So if you have a sandbox, then you can download files like this and analyze them. Let me go back to the Defender portal. So that's how you download a file. And then there are other actions too. There's stop and quarantine file. So because this is outlook.exe, it says this file is signed by a Microsoft trusted publisher. Actions have been disabled to prevent negative impact on the devices. So anything that is signed by Microsoft, you cannot stop and quarantine that 
that file okay let's go to another example i don't think we can do it with vlc as well because it was not identified in the past 30 days so stop and quarantine is grayed out here as well no file quarantine this action can be taken only on files found on windows 10 in the past 30 days so let me go to another file that is on my machine so here if i click on the three dots instead of download file it says collect file so this can take a while when a device with the file becomes available we will collect the file and enable downloading it from the file page okay and then stop and quarantine it is going to give me this pop-up which says this action will attempt to stop running instances of the file and then quarantine the file and remove persistence mechanisms so it is found on one device this is the hash value that will be blocked in the comment section i'm going to say suspicious and then i'm going to say confirm so it tells me that the file was successfully quarantined and who submitted it when it was submitted when this file is being removed from the device the user will get a notification saying an unwanted application was found and it is being removed i'm going to close this now and you know now you have quarantined you have done your analysis and you found this file to be not malicious you can run this following command so you have to go to start open the command prompt and run this command as an administrator to recover the file to restore the file from quarantine so this is going to run windows defender which is under program files mpcmd run.exe it is going to restore and the file name and the file should be back in your original folder so another action that you can do is deep analysis suppose say there is a file that is new or unknown and you want more data on it you can choose deep analysis so when i go to deep analysis it says deep analysis currently supports analysis of only p files for example dot exe or dot dll files but not for this this is actually a text file when you submit a file for deep analysis the file is collected from the device or from the microsoft sample store if the file already exists collecting the file can take up to three hours depending on the file and de device availability so let's go to another file which we can actually analyze so vlc.exe it is available let me see if it works it is processing request and then now it says analyzing request analyzing the file sorry so if you hover over this it says file analysis can take up to 15 minutes the result of the analysis will be available when the analysis is completed so this might take some time but deep analysis usually gives you results about files activity their observed behavior behaviors associated artifacts such as you know any files that are dropped registry modifications and communications with ip addresses so this is going to take time i guess so let's go back to the overview and all these actions that you take can be seen in the action center like you can see if it was quarantined or deep analysis was you know initiated you can see all that in the action center and also if you click on these three dots if you say go hunting it will take you to the advanced hunting page where there are few custom queries that you can use or many queries that you can build on your own there's a separate chapter on advanced hunting if you are interested but for now just know that you can go to advanced hunting and find more details on this file you can modify the queries or use some custom built queries here so it's a very good option if you want to know more about the file that you are working on so these are the actions that you can take on a file when you think it is suspicious there's another video which talks about what are the actions that you can take on a device when you find that device suspicious i will link that as well in the description box so that's it for today guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section or if you want me to make a video on any other feature or tool let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos i will see you soon in another video on mde bye bye